Hey guys, welcome to Blender Render. In this video I will show you how to project several images on a sphere. In this tutorial I'm going to use some social media logos because I will need them in one of my next music videos. Please check out Vero's music channel, link down below. I will also leave a link where you can get the Blender file which contains everything shown in this video. But now let's get right into it. Let's start with an empty project and we will use the default cube to create our first sphere. Select it and tap into edit mode. Choose the face select tool and select one single face. Now let's open the object data properties and create a new vertex group. Rename it to one and assign the selected face to it. We need to repeat this process six times for each side of the cube. This is where our images will be placed later on. Ok, now let's select all faces and give the cube a subdivision modifier. The number of cuts should be 10, more will not be needed. Now press Shift Alt S or Shift Option S on a Mac to turn the cube into a sphere. Set the factor to 1. The sphere won't be perfect, but that's all what we need for now. Now hit Tab to go back to the object mode. With the sphere selected, hit Set and change to wireframe mode. Now hit S and scale up the sphere a bit. Now let's create a UV sphere by hitting Shift A and choose UV sphere. Set the segments to 100 and the rings to 50. That should be sufficient. Let's select our cube, which is now a sphere, and go to the Modifiers tab. Add a Shrink Wrap modifier. Choose Target Normal Project as the wrap method and select the sphere as our target. Now let's apply the modifier and delete the sphere because we don't need it anymore. Next let's create a material for our cube. Go to the Materials tab and choose Image Texture as the base color. I have prepared some social media logos for the images but basically you can use any square image for this purpose. I'm choosing the Facebook logo. Now let's take a look at the shader editor if everything's alright. Looks good. With the cube selected, hit Z and change back to the solid mode. Now hit Tab to change to edit mode. Open the object data properties. Deselect everything by clicking somewhere outside the cube. Click on the first vertex group and hit Select. It's not quite what we expected. We need to press Ctrl I to invert the selection. And now it's good. Now hit U to UV unramp. Hit project from view, bounce. When we change to textured mode, we can see that the image is correctly projected. Now we need to repeat this process for all other vertex groups. I will speed up the process so it doesn't get boring. Once we are finished with all six vertex groups, we tap back to object mode. Looks quite good, but still not perfect. So we need to add another subdivision modifier. Set the viewport levels to 2. And apply the modifier. Last thing we need to do is shading the object smooth. And then we are done with our first sphere. Let's rename the material to Facebook and rename the cube to Facebook Sphere. Now I will duplicate the sphere and the material in order to create the other social media balls. That's quite a simple process, so I'm going to speed it up a bit. Thank you. 
Okay, I think we're done with the spheres. Now we just have to adjust some rendering settings. Save the file. Tweak with some cycles stuff. And maybe add a ground plane to make it look a bit nicer. Well, that's it folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, maybe you can drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you back in my next video. Bye for now.